So I think what I'll do is I'll play an instructive rapid game. My rapid rating is 2666. Maybe not the most lucky of, of numbers. I, I made a community post on YouTube not too long ago, earlier today, sharing the fact I have, I hit the number 666, 666 subscribers. And I was begging people to subscribe to get far away from that number. I think it's working. I think I'm up to like 666-700. It's still taking work to escape the sixes. Oh, it's taking a long time. I mean, maybe I'll play like a five minute game. One quick suggestion, if there's any Leechess developers watching in the present or in the future, you should allow for the ability to seek multiple games at once. I think this used to be a feature on ICC where you could join like the 10-minute pool and the 5-minute pool. Oh, I'm, I have Zen mode turned on. Okay, let's, uh, let's keep it in Zen mode. I won't know who I'm playing. Let's play E4. I feel like I might be playing Steven Willie. If he's watching, he sometimes uh, tries to get the game. Okay, so we have a Karo Khan. I'll play a two knights. I was thinking maybe I would play an alien gambit, but you can't really do that against knight f6. Knight f6 is pretty rare. Like usually people take or d4 sometimes. Uh, so my knowledge about this line is not so extensive, but I know e5 is a move, and I have a vague memory of knight e4, knight e2. So I'll go with this. Opponent's playing very quickly. Maybe they, I mean, they probably know more theory than me. Threatening maiden one. Let's play this. Yeah, I don't know if knight f6 has a name. Um, I can check after the game. So now we have a more of a French structure. Like usually in the Karo Khan, the point is to develop the bishop and then later play e6. Now I'm trying to figure out how to keep developing. I mean, knight g3 comes to mind. Bishop b4, c3, knight takes c3. Pawn takes c3, bishop takes c3, bishop d2 takes, takes. I think it's actually like decent for white. And yeah, I want to move the knight to develop my king side. Okay, black still maybe in prep. If I take, take, the knight's hit. C4 comes to mind. And bishop d3 also. There's actually a funny line. Let's start with bishop d3. The funny line is takes, 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 takes. Oh no, my knight takes and then check and then I win the queen. Knight c6 doesn't defend because knight would be pinned. So I'll try and treat this game as guess elo, where by the end of the game, I'll try and guess what rating my opponent is. I mean, they're playing pretty quickly. Now I might as well take... Although I have to watch out for bishop, bishop c5. I could play c3 or bishop e3. I could also just leave the pawn there. Yeah, the concern is, um, is bishop c5, c3, knight c6. And then my pawn in e5 is a bit weak. So I'm not entirely sure how to handle this. Take bishop c5, bishop e3 maybe. Taking some time. Whoa, it's Emberg. How's it going, Emberg? A great way to play games that could make the audience play worse would be to play the wackiest variants out there on Lee Chess, Pie Chess, 
Chesscom, etc. especially Antikiss since it's the dubious of the variants. Also, fan mail stream when? Quack. I wish I had a duck right now to like just take and put a duck on C5. I miss my chess variants. But I have to stay within reality for the time being. Um, I mean, maybe like A3. It seems so slow, but to play B4, I mean, A5 comes though. Or if this were atomic, I'd just try and explode the king, take on F7. But yeah, I'm really not sure what to do here. I'm burning a lot of time too. Rook H4. A3, A5. I'm going to start with A3. It seems like a really slow move. But if black plays a5, then maybe there's cases where the knight comes to b5 and exploits the squares, etc. And if knight c6, then I can I could advance. Maybe the bishop will find a square on b2. Oh, did Hikaru get annoyed at me for not resigning? I was trying to trick him into a stalemate trap. <laughs> I haven't watched his uh, perspective, though. Okay, I gotta really focus here because yeah, what to do? Here, 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 knight c6, rook h4. No, but then the pawn hangs. So maybe b3. Let me go for b3. I've already used like half my time. I mean we're I can't see the move number, but we're probably around move 10. Uh, the plan is to play bishop b2, rook h4, and then have three attackers. Bach's going to have enough defenders, though. Let me start with rook h4. So I won't be castling kingside this game. But it doesn't make sense to castle when the rook already has a half-open file. Yeah, if I had to guess... Um, I'd probably guess my opponent's in the range of like 24 to 2600. They're playing quicker. If I think they've understood the opening nuances better than me. But at least I have some plan. I mean, my bishop will likely come here. Queen will come to e2. Rook will come to d1. Yeah, with bishop d7, I don't have the tactics with eventual check. So, let's start with this. I was just calculating, like, if I play, let's say, bishop c5, queen e2, black might have a4, b4, knight takes b4. Takes, takes, and my king and bishop are hit. But that's not happening. I take here. No, sacking doesn't work, I don't think. If I play this, there's h5, g5. My rook gets trapped. Do I have to move back? Probably. I'll play rook h2. Because maybe someday I want to put a this rook on h1 and double up. I'm not super pleased with the way things are going here. I didn't take on h7 because takes, takes, and my bishop would probably regret its life decisions. Castle and queenside. I still want to like build up. I guess I kind of forgot about a4. b4, take, take, take. C3 would defend the bishop, and if takes, there's bishop a3. So maybe that's okay for white. Yeah, black probably doesn't want to be opening things up on the queen side, the king committing to c8. So I think my plan revolves around trying to win the, the pawn. I mean, rook d1 and maybe bishop b5. I'm not sure what Black's plan is. Maybe eventually f6. 
if f6 and takes and black will have four center pawns and i'll have zero center pawns which is a slightly terrifying thought i mean okay it's only temporary like rook d1 takes 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 but then bishop f6 And then pawn e5 is coming. I'm probably in trouble here. If I play bishop b5 first, but then knight takes. And then take. Maybe that's the way to go. Oh no, but e6 is... Hmm. I don't know what to do. I'm going to play bishop b5. I think I'm going to be down. 27 is the only positive integer that is three times the sum of its digits. I don't have the mental capacity to verify if that's true, but I'll, I'll trust that's true. That sounds like an interesting, fun math fact. Thank you, FCL, for that. Yeah, I'm realizing after takes, takes, there's takes with check. And I'll have lost my last center pawn. But maybe I take, take. That's not good. Thinking takes and then f4. Okay, black doesn't take, so that's a good sign. So I don't think I'm playing a grandmaster or an engine. But now what to do? Take with bishop or knight? Let's take with a knight. I mean, e5 is probably coming. Knight f5. I think I'm coping. I'm only down, what, two and a half minutes on the clock? Yeah, it's so important to like stay focused on the opponent's time. And really expecting this. Here's a five. Fun maths question: If you multiply all the prime numbers less than one million, what is the final digit of the result? Again, I don't have the me the mental capacity to deal with math questions right now. But uh, maybe people in chat can try and wrap their minds around that. Okay, let's play rook d1. So I'm not casting this game. Both my rooks have moved. Could it be my opponent, like, with their all their Twitch alt accounts, sharing all these complicated math things in chat, trying to burn my time? Queen c4, that's a good move. My bishop's restricted. I have g4, maybe. Like a g. I free up the square for the knight. In the event of g6, like, can hopefully reroute to a happier place. And I didn't want to play queen c4 check because that would only help black. So I want to preserve this move for when it's more effective. Like if black ever plays rook g8, then could be nice. So now I'm only down a minute and a half. Yeah, this is a math I can do. Very basic, like finding the difference between our times. Knight c5. I think I'll play king f1, getting the king to a slightly safer square. I said earlier maybe my rook would come to h1, but maybe it's the king coming here. Find maximum safety. Oh, that might force a queen trade, which I don't really want, but I kind of have to allow any, any trickery. Mm. Okay, delayed bond cloud. So maybe I was uh, foreshadowing the double up on the h file. I mean, black will have h6, but then the bishop is kind of tied down. 
And if G6, then I don't know, I don't know actually. But let's start with this. Attacking the pawn. I'm thinking maybe the bishop should reroute, because it's just staring into of uh, sadness, basically. I'm guessing like 2,500 for my opponent. Oh, d3, good move. Can I play the king d1? Looks risky. But taking looks even... And maybe rook takes... Maybe it's playable. Let's take. According to the Riemann zeta function, oh, the sum please, of all, no. sum of all positive integers is minus one twelfth. I don't have time for that. Um. Oh, now the four is coming. I have to move the bishop. I have this move. Take, take. Maybe I just allow now the four. And it does allow bishop a three. I'm hitting a5. If this, I play this. The problem is the rook's now tied down to g2. Okay, now the knight defends g2. I think that's a good thing. And now the pawn still attacks. So both pawns are attacked. This pawn's still hanging. Again, I'm only down the pawn. Oh, that's a move. In b4, probably. I don't like fixing the pawns on dark squares, but... At least I'm restricting the bishop now. We might see h6 to defend the pawn. h6, g5 maybe? Maybe not. Bishop, bishop b2. Oh, it's so ugly. Knight d1. Wait, can I take? I'm going to try taking. It's probably not good, but... I have 37 seconds. Look, okay, the opponent's getting low on time as well. So the calculation is takes here, here, here. Do I have anything? Might be winning the f-pawn. Ooh, okay, so I win the bishop. I'm still in trouble, though. Take that. And I can come to c2, worst case. Um, king. Where to move the king? Maybe knight c2 now. 23 seconds. King c6, I have b5. Knight b4 is a threat, so I couldn't take, I don't think. Knight's almost trapped. Not quite.
Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, Katana Chess. You raided it like the most intense moment. Uh, I wish I had my heart rate monitor on for that game. Uh... <sighs> okay, my opponent was over 2,500. They played really well. H7 was hanging for most of the opening. Why didn't you want it? I explained that briefly earlier. I can go back though and show. Easy mate. <laughs> I think my heart rate, when I turned it on, it was like 158. It was probably like close to 170. Thank you, Andy Oxus. Yeah, I mean I was I was worse in the end game and down on time, but somehow I kept things alive. Black could have played uh, D2 check. This is probably the easiest approach. And then after takes, takes. Um, yeah, black is winning. And it's, it's hard to make use of the single pawn. I'm shaking right now. Okay, so... Yeah, no alien gambit. I think, okay, the alien gambit officially is with the classical Carol Khan. And then here, 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 take. I think on chess.com it's like officially called the Alien Gambit. We chess still needs to update the opening name. Um, yeah, if, I mean, if Black took and went for this, I would play, I think this is an improved alien though, to take, because the knight has access to e5 right away. Anyway, we went into something else. So I guess this move doesn't really have an official name. And the point of knight e2, it looks counterproductive because I retreat and I block my bishop. But the point is to play d3 and make it so the knight can't trade itself off and would have to go to some awkward square. But then after queen b6, yeah, it threatens mate. I had to play d4. And okay, Carlson has had this position. A lot of grandmaster games here. Um, oh, e6 is the most theoretical move. Yeah, I would have thought some bishop move is better. But it's not played at master level. Wow. Oh, that's fascinating. Bishop g4 looks like a normal developing move. White is winning with just putting the knight back on its starting square. Look at that. That's so cool. a4 is also apparently close to winning. The point, I'm guessing, is that f3 is just super strong. Not only threatening the fork. Greetings from Mars. Welcome back we to Old Water. Marsopolis are big fans of the alien gambit. Also, oh, yes. Pam is in chat. Oh, hi to Pam. How's it going? Hey, it's Pam. You got your account back. VIP Pam. Yeah, Pam was, was here, what, a couple weeks ago with a different account because, yeah... Sometimes Twitch is weird. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, knight g1 is so strong because f3 forks, but also it traps Please a knight. Play the London so I can copy and win one game in eight seems good. Oh, except, okay, in this line, d4 is hanging, but bishop takes e2, and then f3. Okay, black has f6, so it's not the simplest. Oh, but knight e2... Yeah, White's doing well here with f3 coming. Yeah, this this was not quite a London. I'll have to save the London for the future. But um, yeah, if you're just joining and you miss this game, I'll probably end up putting the whole game on YouTube. There are so many different stages to this game. So I should explain, like the reason why I don't take on h7 in all these moments was, um, yeah, the bishop would just get stuck g6 and i'm not losing it right away and apparently this is playable but it's not something i wanted to subject myself to maybe if i was bobby fisher i would take the pawn but try to be a little bit more responsible oh i see um jackster the pro is in chat and jackster the pro is a a, a well-known opponent of mine from 
Where did we play? We've played online a lot. We played in Kurgero, I think. Jaxter probably knows like the Karo Khan theory because yeah, he's a Karo Khan specialist. Jaxter's saying F takes G3. Wow. I didn't know that. I don't think I've ever like seriously studied this sign. This is counterintuitive. Like usually you should take towards the center and especially in this case open the file for the rook. But the engine likes this presumably because yeah, that file could be really strong. That's a nice lesson. And there's still games in this. Apparently MVL and Wei Yi have played. Wait, MVL. Oh, MVL against Hikaru and Wei Yi. So Wei Yi has played this a bunch of times with uh, the black pieces. But we can see white scores really well here. Is it cheating if you play all the moves that chat says? It's probably the opposite of cheating. It's probably what I would do if I want to um, maybe self-destruct. No offense to chat. Hey, it's Flads. Hey, four years. Happy four years. 48 months. Yeah, sorry if I offended people. So if we go forward here, I mean, we can see the engine graph of the game. Yeah, it was worse most of this game. And my downfall started... I guess coming up. Rook H4 was the wrong idea. Yeah, I was too excited to rook lift. Engine says King F1. Just tucking the king away, staying flexible. It seems to like this idea g4 eventually. Yeah, the problem was I didn't really have a plan. Black developed with tempo. And then when f6 happened, it was already like super unpleasant. Wait a minute. Oh, that's funny. I thought <laughs> during the game, I thought... The knight could take with check, but I'm the one who's checking. And I made some comment, my opponent's like probably not an engine, because they didn't take on F3. But obviously, yeah, black has to take. Okay, the engine would take on D7, so yeah, my opponent was still definitely not an engine, confirmed. And then, yeah, I was just down a pawn for like, most of the game. I'm sure Black had other ways to better convert this. Apparently I should have taken. Yeah, Rook D3 was very strong. And now here, yeah, when I played Rook H8, I think my opponent just trusted the fact that I'm winning the bishop, but I'm not winning the bishop because there's 96. I was going to play knight d5, but then, I mean, what am I doing? Rook takes a3. Black's defending, and this pawn is going to queen. So very, very fortunate to uh, have been given a little bit of mercy there. Um, yeah, let's find the game line. I mean, I'm still, like, very close to losing. But somehow, I didn't lose. Oh no, my keyboard. Yeah, I was out of town for several weeks. It's time to charge my keyboard. Whoa, it's Flabs. Gifting 10. Thank you, Flabs. Yeah, happy for your anniversary. I appreciate the gifted subs. Yeah, this was an intense moment. I had four seconds left. Just had to focus on pushing pawns and creating the mating attack. Not the most precise play. But then, yeah, it worked out nicely. Okay, so if this goes on YouTube, um, might be a longer YouTube video for a single game, but hope you guys enjoyed it.